Michael and Carmichael with how they did it. Good morning. Hi, guys. Good morning. Let me tell you, if I were part of that competition, my responses would sound just like that kid. It wouldn't even <laughs> make baby. sense. I'm like, come on, get you something young. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> everyone say hi. We're hi. talking 12 hi, kids are representing SAG Town. They took off for this international competition. It's called the Quiz Bowl in Chicago. They came back with second place, making Sacramento whoop, whoop. very happy. There it is. Bruce, the coach here. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. Of course. Now, how does the Quiz Bowl work exactly? It works just like a Jeopardy game almost, but they have the kids have to be fast. They have to be as fast as those people you see on TV. Oh, wow. Okay, so, I mean, at the start of the school year, you start with 60 to 70 students, and then it dwindles down to basically your top 15, top 12 in this case. That's absolutely true. These guys are superstars for Churchill, and uh, we have our A team that you're looking at right now, B team's in white over there. And then our C team has our Churchill shirts on. And I have to say this, by the way, all the P, all the captains, rather, of each team are female. We're women. Woo! Raise those hands. Let's see the captains. There we go. Tell me your name. Somia. So, okay, so you went to this competition. You kicked butt. How did it feel coming back with this trophy? It felt great, and I couldn't have done it without these guys. There, oh, there you go. Right, showing, showing love to the team. Now tell me your name. My name's Elias. All right, so what was the best part of this competition and getting a chance to go to Chicago? Well, the best part was when we found out we were in the top four, and that was, like, pretty surprising, as mentioned here, uh, because, like, we never really expected to go this far and this hot, well, far, like, generally this far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to show you this picture right up there. You guys are holding that trophy. The moment you were named or named second place, what was that reaction for you? For me, it was almost uh, shocking yeah. because I never because we were like uh, we were thought we thought we would go like to like fifth almost, okay. but we surpassed our expectations yes. and made it to new boundaries. Now I am so proud of all of you. Now we're gonna obviously watch them in action. So coming up the next hour, we're gonna play a little game. But I'm gonna toss it back to you with one question that they got. This is oh, basically great. the question that we're got them the second today. place. Okay. <laughs> now there's keywords. There's keywords okay. in the first sentence that you should be able to nail. If it Great. makes you feel any better, I had no idea what the answer was. Here okay. we go, Bruce. Okay. Go All right. I just want to say at the word event is when Aditya got this and guaranteed us second place. Oh, All right, here okay. We go. So Listen if you can carefully. get it before then, okay. you're good. Meteorologist J.M. Stagg provided the weather forecast that allowed this event to take place. A rehearsal for this event on the Stad Stapton Sands was disrupted by attacking e-boats. The deception of Operation Fortitude tried to indicate that this event would take place on the Pas de Ka, Omaha, in Utah, where the code names American Beaches during what military operation that happened on June 6, 1944? Oh, uh, that would be D-Day. <laughs> that would be D-Day 75 years ago. Oh, they got it. They so got, they got oh, word no. number four. <laughs> oh they God, got wait. word number no, four. You guys oh waited God. for 702. <laughs> 702. He, he tried to lead us with the, the carrot like this. I was like.